Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today, I will be talking about Kyorugi in Taekwondo So, what is Kyorugi? What kind of categories it has? What techniques do you have to master? What you can do or what you cannot do in order for you to get a point in Kyorugi? I believe this kind of question has been going around your mind So, I will bring you guys together with me to explore more about Kyorugi So, let's dive in Firstly, Kyorugi is famously known as sparring in Taekwondo. It is one of the disciplines of this traditional Korean martial art. It is a form of free fight between two people. So, the first person has to wear blue chest protector known as Chong and the opponent has to wear red chest protector known as Hong. Other than that, the competitors also need to wear head protectors, groin, form arm, shin guards and mouth guards. All of these are necessary in order to avoid any injury. Next, for you guys' information, Kyorugi should be contested by competitors of the same genders and classified into the same weight category. As you can see, there are 8 divisions that have different weight for male and female. So, competitors need to know their divisions before proceed to join a game. Plus, no contestants are allowed to participate in more than one weight category in one event. Also, the most important part is that the duration of the contest should be 3 rounds for 2 minutes with 1 minute rest period between the rounds. Next, in Kyorugi, you can earn points by punching at the trunk area of the body of your opponent and also by kicking. As you can see right here, you are only allowed to kick at your opponent's head and also trunk area. So, how to gain a valid point in Kyorugi? So this is the valid areas for you to target on your opening. You will gain 1 point for a valid punch to the trunk protector, 2 points for a valid kick to the trunk protector, 3 points for the valid kick to the head, 4 points for valid turning kick to the trunk protector, and 5 points for a valid turning kick to your opponent's head. I also believe there is a question that you guys might be wondering like, what will you receive if you do something that is prohibited in Kyorugi? So, when you do something that you cannot do in Kyorugi, you will receive gum joint. So, when you receive 10 gum joint, the referee shall declare the contestant lose by referee's punitive declaration. Therefore, in order to avoid getting any penalties, you guys have to avoid grabbing, holding or pushing your opponent. Also, you guys have to avoid faking any injuries during the game. All of these kinds of attacks will make you receive calm joint. So, make sure that you guys do not do any prohibited acts in Kyo. In addition, the contestant should avoid any attacks when the opponent falls down. And also, please pay attention to both of your legs so that both of the legs are not closing the boundary line. So, that's all from me about Kyorugi. I really hope that it helps you guys to understand more about Kyorugi in Taekwondo. Thank you for tuning in and see you guys next time.